Welcome back, another bright and early morning and today we're fishing from the beach. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of surf fishing for my favorite fish out here, the California halibut. So my plan is to be fishing from now until low tide and then probably an hour into the tide change. So once it starts coming in, the tide will flip, the incoming tide will come up. I'll fish a little bit into that and we'll see how we do. I'm working with a 10 foot rod this morning and I'm working with a drop shot as well. So I got a swivel right here and then it goes down to this white fluke. You can see I have that hook barely popping out and about 16 inches below the fluke, two ounce torpedo sinker. I've caught some nice halibut using this rig in the past. So I'm excited to try it out today. Excited to be fishing from shore. We'll see how we do. This is a four inch fluke I'll be tossing around today, I believe. Water is nice and cold. I'm not wearing any waders, but that'll keep me awake out here if the fish aren't biting. Just give it a toss out there. Let it hit the bottom. And once it's on bottom, I'm just gonna be bouncing it, flicking it up and down. Raw tip is doing most of the work here and the reel is just picking up the slack. What that's making my, my fluke do is dart back and forth with a lot of action like that, up and down, side to side. And that erratic action should trigger a halibut bite if there's any out here. I kayak fish that area a lot and I catch a lot of halibut on a swim bait, on a little white swim bait, similar to the fluke I'm using. So these guys will definitely slam artificials and it's a very fun way to target them. As I cast, I'll keep moving down the beach, try to find these fish. They're probably just laying flat somewhere. So I need to find a way to put this fluke in front of their face if I wanna get bit. So I'll work my way down this entire coast right here. There's a fish. Nice. On the drop shot. Woo! Doesn't feel very big, but I did feel some sh head shakes. Yeah. Here we go. Just gotta land it now. It's definitely a halibut. Just walking back on the beach keeping tension and there we go there we go there's our halibut there we go hook is out nice and easy 19 inches so not legal minimum size for these guys is 22 inches but you can see just what a beautiful fish this is. Look at that prehistoric mouth, completely flat fish, beautiful. Lots of pattern in there, in that brown. And on the flip side, this completely white fish. It's called counter coloration to camouflage themselves. The underside is white because when it comes up off the bottom, it looks like the sun if something's looking at it from below. And then from the top, you know, it's perfectly camouflaged with the sand. Awesome first fish of the day. I'm gonna go release this guy right now. There it goes. Nice. First fish of the morning on this drop shot right here. And you can see it kind of pulled the hook through. So all I'm gonna do is readjust it like that so that it's barely poking out. This also helps 
makes it kind of weedless. So sometimes, like today, there's a fair amount of seaweed. And so this makes it kind of glide through there without the hook getting caught up as much. And it's very, very helpful. I'm gonna cast right here, right where I got this guy. Because sometimes halibut hang out in clumps kind of clusters of a couple of fish, not big schools, but it's been my experience fishing for them on a kayak that oftentimes when you find one, especially the smaller ones, there can be a lot more around there and halibut really like to all eat at the same time. So sometimes they're not eating and sometimes the bite just turns on like that and it seems like every fish out here gets hungry. Fish on. Come on. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Another halibut. Gotta let the wave do the work here. Just keep him pinned, keep the line tight. And boom, second halibut of the morning. It's another shaker right here, but such beautiful fish. Let's quickly get him in the water. There it goes. There you have it, second halibut of the morning. These are California halibut, again, on the four inch white fluke on the drop shot. This is the perfect opportunity to tell you about my merchandise. So I came out with merchandise and it's the perfect time to tell you about it because it's actually a California halibut shirt. So as you just saw, these fish, they're not just one shade of brown, not even two shades of brown. They have a lot of variation, a lot of nuance and speckles in their coloring. And it's a really, really beautiful fish up close. I decided to make a shirt that would reflect that. So this is the shirt I made. It's made originally in watercolor and eight different colors go into this halibut to show them in their full beauty. If you're looking for a way to support my channel, buying some of my merchandise is the best way to do it. I wanna see people out there wearing this shirt. I think it's a great shirt and I'm very proud of how it turned out. What you can do is go to fishermanschronicles.com and order yourself one there. I'll ship it straight to your house. And that way you get to represent the fish that you so love to catch if you're anything like me. And that's the California halibut. Now, without further ado, let's keep fishing. See if we can pick up a third halibut from shore. Take this bitten up fluke off. Put this fresh new one on just like this. Boom. Fresh new fluke. It's gonna catch us another fish. Yup, fish on. Fish on. This is a better one. This is a better one. Nice. Probably 10-ish minutes after the last one I got. Feels heavier. Look at those head shakes. Bring him up. Uh, it doesn't look much bigger, but let's take a look. 20 inches, 20 inch halibut. There we go. Another beautiful California halibut from the beach. Check out the colors. 
Lots of color in there, not just brown. Another beautiful fish, let's get him released. There he goes. Third halibut of the morning. It's hot, the bite is hot out here. So when your fluke keeps popping out like this and you wanna keep that hook in, this is what I do. I sort of bury it into the fluke a little bit, pop it back out on the other side. That'll hold it down enough to make it weedless. But when you get a bite and set the hook, this little bit will break and you'll have a good hook set into the fish's mouth. So that's perfect. I'm on. I thought I had seaweed. I'm on. What the hell? That seriously felt like seaweed. I started just reeling that thing in super fast. But that's a halibut. Ah, oh, let's go. No! No, I got off! I saw him in the wave. Ah. Oh, I saw him. Dang. on yeah nice oh I was literally about to give up just walking back that's a halibut been out here all morning haven't got anything no one else on the beach has got anything now we got a fish on oh, oh, oh keep him keep him pinned all right here's the waves all right the tricky part is landing him. Ah, it wasn't that tricky. Woo! Halibut! Well, it is an absolute baby of a halibut. But we got a fish today, no skunk. Alright, there's our first fish of the day. Broke the skunk off. Here you go, buddy. There he goes. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun fishing today. Don't forget to check out fishermanschronicles.com. Get yourself a beautiful halibut shirt. They're lucky shirts, you'll see. Get one, come fishing, catch a halibut, send me a picture of it and I'll repost it. Once again, thank you all for tuning in. If you're fishing soon, best of luck and tight lines, everybody.